If you're a video editor, you've probably spent countless hours of your precious time doing redundant tasks. You set up project files, organize timelines, and click hundreds of buttons to get that one action you need. This takes your mind off of what's most important, telling a good story. Well, here's a guide on how to edit video more efficiently. Now, the mouse is one of the most important things for a video editor, as is the keyboard, but the mouse is something that a lot of people don't really optimize. They use a normal mouse. Well, what I have here is a 12 button mouse on the side so that each can be programmed to do different tasks. This number one is enter, and that lets me easily get rid of dialogues if a dialogue pops up. Uh, number two I have is copy, so I can just select this clip, move it over here, and then press paste, and now I have two of them. Paste is number three. Seven and eight let me zoom in and out, so if I hit seven, that's zooming out, that's zooming back in. My mouse also comes with the handy little button on top. Besides the two, the left and the right, it also has this nice little trigger button. And I have this assigned to delete, which I happen to use all the time. I select a clip, and then instead of having to fumble for the delete key, I just hit my trigger button and it's gone. Now I could go on a long time about my mouse and all the different optimizations I have, but I don't want to bore you, so let's move on to the keyboard. I have the letter P assigned to splitting a clip, which allows me to easily split. Another really handy thing that I use is called a ripple trim tool. And instead of going over here fumbling for the right tool, I just assign it to my semicolon here. If I hit the semicolon button, it trims off the, the front part of it. Or I can hit the apostrophe button and then it trims the end of it. And now that is a huge time saver. All right, moving on to monitors. I love them. A while ago, I used to start with one, and then I got two, and then three, and then four, and now I'm at five monitors, and I would love to have six if I could. It sounds a little bit crazy when you have five monitors, but it is legitimately useful. I have multiple monitors set up for Premiere, but then I also use another one for After Effects while I'm doing my animation work. I also do some coding, so I have some vertical monitors that allow me to code really easily, and of course, I have Facebook on one. <laughs> Other times I also put, you know, email and calendar and all that stuff on the other one. One of my favorite things that I've optimized is using sample project files. Let's show right here. So I go to my creative cloud and I have the sample folders. If I go here, it has my, my structure of my projects that I like. I have my project files, my raw footage, my final media, all that. Well, then all I have to do is I get the sample folders copy and paste it over here. I rename it to whatever I want, project name, and here we go, now we started it. And then I have my project files, and I already have an After Effects template ready, and an Adobe Premiere project template. Then when I get into the project, it has all of my bins like I like them. So I have one for footage. Um, sequences is all the sequences, obviously. Titles and effects, so it's just an extremely easy way to organize it, and I don't have to create this structure every time. I create it once and copy it over. I even go so far as to make a sample sequence uh, that has an effects overlay with effects that I usually use, like RGB curves. So yeah, I use this sample sequence, and then that gets me jump started even quicker. So sample files can be one of those really small things that you do that can dramatically increase your efficiency. Those are just some quick tips on how to increase your efficiency. If you want to find out more, then go to brianschwabauer.com.